Good morning. And welcome to every one of you gathered here today at the start of the Sea Church and also to all of those who are joining us via the live stream on this Sunday of the baptism of our Lord. A very special welcome also to all visitors who have joined us in prayer today. Let us take a moment to turn around and say hello to each other. In today's gospel, as in the other gospel accounts of Jesus' baptism, we hear John the Baptist address the confusion of the people who thought that John might be the Messiah. On this, the last day of the Christmas season, our gospel reveals to us Jesus' relation to God. Brother Ronnie will lead us in the Eucharist today, so please stand and join the choir in the entrance hymn. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, dear friends. As we celebrate today the baptism of Jesus, God asks us to think of our baptismal promises. And in this Mass, this is my first 830 Mass, I bring all your praise and praying for you. So I ask your prayers for two reasons today. First, we all pray for and thank Lord for Father Ashley and for his ministry he has done past eight years. And he is in our heart and thankfully remember his service here and give thanks to Lord. And I ask also ask your prayer for me as I begin my ministry here in Star of the Sea. I need your prayer and you need your support. So together bring all our prayers to the altar, together with our shortcomings and failures. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh. 
the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son, grant that your children by adoption reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Console my people, console them, says our, your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and call to her that her time of service is ended, that her sin is atoned for, that she has received from the hand of the Lord double punishment for all her crimes. A voice cries, Prepare in the wilderness a way for the Lord. Make a straight highway for our God across the desert. Let every valley be filled in, every mountain and hill be laid low. Let every cliff become a plain and the ridges a valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all mankind shall see it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up to the mount, high mountain, joyful messenger to Zion. Shout with a loud voice, joyful messenger to Jerusalem. Shout without fear. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. Here is the Lord coming with power, his arm subduing all things to him. The prize of his victory is with him. His trophies all go before him. He is like a shepherd feeding his flock, gathering lambs in his arms, holding them against his breast, and leading to their rest the mother ewes. And this is the word of the Lord. Be the response to the psalm, O oh, bless the Lord my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. <clears throat> Above the rains you build your dwelling. 
you make the clouds your chariot. You walk on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers and flashing fire your servants. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things, great and small. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. God's grace has been revealed and it has made salvation possible for the whole human race and taught us that what we have to do is to give up everything that does not lead to God. All our worldly ambitions. We must be self-restrained and live good and religious lives here in this present world. While we are waiting in hope for the blessing which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He sacrificed himself for us in order to set us free from all wickedness and to purify our people so that it could be his very own and would have no ambition except to do good. When the kindness and love of God, our Saviour, for mankind were revealed, it was not because he was concerned with any righteous actions we might have done ourselves. It was for no reason except his own compassion that he saved us by the means of cleansing water and rebirth and by renewing us with the Holy Spirit, which he has so generously poured over us through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. He did this so that we should be justified by his grace to become heirs looking forward to inheriting eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Stand for the gospel. John said he is to come mightier than I. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. A feeling of expectancy had grown among the people who were beginning to think that John might be the Christ. So John declared before them all, I baptize you with water, but someone is coming, someone who is more powerful than I am and I am not fit to undo the strap of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. 
Now when all the people had been baptized, and while Jesus, after his own baptism, was at prayer, heaven opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily shape like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, the beloved, my favor rests on you. The Gospel of the Lord. The baptism of the Lord is the great event in the church because it is the occasion of the first public revelation of all the three persons in the Holy Trinity and the official revelation of Jesus as the Son of God to the world by God the Father. It marks the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. And today, as I start my ministry in Star of the Sea, it's a great day for me because this is the first time I am becoming a parish priest in any of the churches. So it's a day of joy for me. So let me start the homily with a funny story. Before performing a baptism, the priest approached the young father and said solemnly, baptism is a serious step. Are you prepared for it? I think so, the man replied. My wife has made starters, and we have a caterer coming to provide plenty of cookies and cakes for all of our guests. I don't mean that, the priest responded. I mean, are you prepared in spirit? Oh, sure, came the reply. I have got a barrel of beer and a case of whiskey. He was talking about the material preparation. And today, we are celebrating the spiritual way of Jesus' baptism, which reminds us we need to think in spiritual way about our own baptism. Why do we celebrate the baptism of Jesus? First, the baptism of Jesus reminds us of our identity. It reminds us of who we are and whose we are. By baptism, we become sons and daughters of God, brothers and sisters of Jesus, members of his church, members of his church, successes of heaven, and temples of the Holy Spirit. Second, Jesus' baptism reminds us of our mission. The first, to experience the presence of God within us, to acknowledge our own dignity as God's children, and to appreciate the divine presence in others by honoring them, loving them, and serving them in all humility. And again, Jesus' baptism reminds our mission to live as the children of God in thought, word, and action so that our Heavenly Father may so say to each one of us what he said to Jesus at Jesus' baptism, you are my beloved one with whom I am well pleased. This means that we are to let his thoughts direct our thoughts, his mind control our mind, his concern be our concerns. In the church, we all share the same intimate connection with Christ. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. And again, to know our mission to lead a holy and transparent Christian life and not to damage 
our bodies by impurity, injustice, intolerance, jealousy, or hatred. And finally, Jesus' baptism reminds our mission to be co-creators with God in building up the kingdom of God here on earth, a kingdom of compassion, a kingdom of justice and love, and to be the salt of the earth and light of the world. Dear friend, it is a day to thank God for the graces we have received in our baptism, to renew our baptismal promises and to preach Christ's good news by our transparent Christian lives of love, mercy, service, and forgiveness. Dear friends, let us pray in this Mass and look into our heart. Do we live our Christian life with all its dignity? Do we keep the graces we have received in our baptism? If we fail to live our Christian life with the God's, life, God's grace, let us come back to God. Let's pray together. I believe in God. Dearest friends, let us bring our intentions before our God, the Lord of power and might. That the Holy Church will continue in faith serving all people with a humble spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those preparing for confirmation will find strength in Holy Spirit and turn to follow Jesus in faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the waters of baptism, our parish community will be strengthened by the Holy Spirit as we minister to our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people beginning their working lives might find Jesus as a role model of justice and righteousness. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord will bless the sick with peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will forever in, father, in the Father's care. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, through the Holy Spirit, you gave us your beloved Son. Hear our prayers and grant us your favor as we live your gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
study, Lord God of procreation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. The humble spirit and contrite heart may become such a one. Wash me, Lord, for my iniquity and cleanse me for my sins. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O oh Lord, the offerings we have brought to you, honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Your Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with the signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Archbishop, our Auxiliary Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and more especially, we pray for our dear Father, Ashley, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all the children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespassing against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 